Hi guys, I promised to publish the test of Samsung 50G, but I was very busy for a long time and couldn't make the video and upload it. I apologize for this delay. At last I got some time to do it and decided to include the test of new version of 48G Cell 2, as well as comparison between them and Samsung 50E, which I've already tested and published before. Samsung 50G is a 21700 size cell which is being sold as a 500 mAh one, but in fact the manufacturer doesn't specify its nominal capacity in the datasheet. Samsung only mentions the minimum capacity at 4850 mAh. 50G supports discharge rates up to 2C or 9.7 amps. It comes without any heat shrink tube, so I recommend you to buy some. I've already had issues with such cells before when I accidentally shorted the negative and positive, resulting in dangerous situation. That's why I put tubes on bare cells. In this case, I've used the tube which was sold in a row and applied it at 160 degrees Celsius. After the job was done, I increased the temperature up to 250 degrees Celsius and once again did it to make the tube lay evenly and with no air beneath. Now let me remind you about my testing equipment. My battery tests are done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which can discharge at up to 20 amps and supports 4 wire measurement and PC connection for building graves. My upgraded battery holder has now version number 4, and the detailed information about it you can find in another video on my channel. I've followed all the prescriptions of IC61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The ambient temperature was 20-25 centigrade and the battery was charged only as the standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet. Before and after each charge or discharge, a minimum 1 hour pause was held, which is required by the standard. Queen Battery is my reliable supplier of batteries since 2017, and the majority of my lithium-ion cells are supplied by them. The link to their website and sales department email are in the description of this video. The 50G cell which I've tested has the following marking. INR 21750G, Samsung SDI, 2J23. It also has a two-dimensional matrix code and two other markings. I have no idea what they mean, so if you have any information about them, please share in comments. The official datasheet of 50G mentions the following specs. The minimum capacity should be 4850 mAh. Nominal voltage 3.63V. Standard charge current 1.6A. Charge cutoff current 121mA. Maximum charge current 4.85A. Charge end voltage 4.2V. Maximum discharge current 9.7A. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.5V. Maximum pulse discharge current 14.55 amps. AC impedance 14 milliohms. Maximum weight 69.5 grams. Cycle life. Using 1.6 amp charge current with 242.5 milliamp cutoff and uh, 4.85 amp discharge with 2.5 volt cutoff, after 1000 cycles the capacity should be more than 80% of standard capacity which sounds very impressive. The weight of my cell was 68.02 grams without any shrink tube. The DC internal resistance of fully charged battery was around 20 milliohms measured by EB tester software at 4.85 amps. The 0.2C or 0.97 amp discharge test is performed to check the real capacity and in my test Samsung 50G showed 4954 mAh or 18.04 Watt hours. It's a bit lower than 1500 mAh, but the manufacturer doesn't specify nominal capacity. They only mention minimum capacity at 4850 mAh. The results at 2, 5, 8, and 10 amp discharge rates you can see on your screens. If you remember, I've already tested Samsung 48G, but this time I've got the new version wrapped in green heat shrink tube. I don't know if there are any changes in chemistry and I decided to test and compare it to 50G. So the cell I've tested is marked as INR 
21748G Samsung SDI 2 2IB1. There are also two matrix codes on the heat shrink tube and another marking underneath on the cell's barrel, which is barely visible. The official datasheet of 48G declares the following specs. Typical energy 17.4 Watt hours. Minimum energy 17.04 Watt hours. Typical capacity 4800 milliamp hours. Minimum capacity 4700 milliamp hours. Nominal voltage 3.6 volts. Standard charge current 1.44 amps. Charge cutoff current 96 milliamps. Maximum charge current 4.8 amps. Charge end voltage 4.2 volts. Maximum discharge current 9.6 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts. AC impedance less than 45 milliohms. Maximum weight 69 grams. Cycle life. The capacity should be more than 35-25 milliamp hours after 500 cycles each performed at a 1.44 amp charge with 240 milliamp cutoff and 4.8 amp discharge with 2.5 volt cutoff. Just compare this to the cycle life declared for 50G, which is supposed to have more than 48-80 milliamp hours after 1000 cycles at slightly higher charge and discharge rates. That's why I called 50G cycle life impressive. The weight of my cell was 67.4 grams. The DC internal resistance of fully charged battery was around 17 milliohms, measured by EB tester software at 4.8 amps. At 0.2C or 0.96 amp discharge, the green 48 cell showed 47.44 milliamp hours or 17.28 watt hours. It's between the minimum and typical capacity declared. To tell the truth, I don't like when a new cell's capacity is below the nominal, and I think nobody does. Whatever. Here are the results of the tests at 2, 5, 8 and 10 amp discharge. The capacity always remains above 4600 milliamp hours. Now let's compare 50G to 48G and 50E, which I've tested before. The 50E cell, which I decided to include in comparison, was tested using the previous version of my holder, while 50G and 48G tests I did with the latest release. Please note that the standard charge current of 50E is 2.45 amps, while the same parameter of its rivals is noticeably lower. The detailed review of 50E is available on my channel. Now let's compare these three Samsung cells at 2 amp discharge. Look at the numbers. 50G and 50E are very close to each other, but the curve of 50G looks better. 48G also has a nice curve, but lower capacity. At 5 amps, the situation changes. 50G and 50E still demonstrate almost the same capacity, but the curves show that 50E has a bigger voltage drop, which is reflected in energy values. Here is where the truth is hidden. 50G has a bit more energy than its rival. 48G again showed a curve similar to that of 50G, which starts to go down faster from the middle, resulting in lower capacity. At 8 amp discharge, the picture doesn't change. The same situation as at 5 amps, but with other numbers. 50G shows who's the leader. Please note that though 48G shows lower capacity, but the difference with 50E in energy is just 0.15 Watt hours. At 10 amp discharge, 50E's capacity is very close to 50G, while its energy is still only 0.15 Watt hours higher than 48G's. 50G confirms its first place. But again, don't forget that its standard charge current is lower than 50E's. Now let's take a look at this table to compare cycle lives. 50G's numbers are outstanding, but 50E's charge current is higher. After all, I can tell one thing for sure. 50E and 50G are better than 48G, but who's the leader? I'd like to say 50G, but 50E's charge current is one and a half times higher, so I'm not sure for 100%. That's all I was going to tell you today. Thanks for watching. See you guys.